Hey everybody. I just thought I'd read you some of this stuff here. I thought it was very informative information. Heavy metals, toxicity, and the environment. Heavy metals are naturally occurring elements that have a high atomic weight and a density at least five times greater than that of water. Their multiple industrial, domestic, agriculture, medical, and technological applications have led to their wide distribution in the environment, raising concerns over their potential effects on of, bleh, sorry on human health and the environment. Their toxicity depends on several factors, including the dose, route of exposure, and chemical species, as well as the age, gender, genetics, and nutritional status of exposed individuals. Because of their high degree of toxicity, arsenic, cadmium, chromium, lead, and mercury rank amongst among the priority metals that are of public health significance. Those metallic elements are considered systemic toxins that are known to induce multiple organ damage, even at lower levels of exposure. They are also classified as human carcinogens, known or reportable according to the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency and the International Agency for Research on Cancer. This review provides an analyst of their environmental occurrences, production, and use, potential for human exposure and molecular mecha mechanisms of toxicity, genotoxicity, and carcinogenicity. Genicity. Heavy metals are defined as metallic elements that have a relatively high density compared to water. With the assumption that heaviness and toxicity are interrelated, heavy metals also include metalloids such as arsenic that are available to induce toxicity at low levels of exposure. In recent years, there have been an increased ecological and global public health concern associated with environmental contamination by these metals. Also, human exposure has risen dramatically as a result of exponential increase of their use in several industrial, agricultural, agricultural domestic, and technological applications. Reported sources of heavy metals in the environment include geogenic, industrial, agriculture, pharmaceutical, domestic effluents, and at atmospheric sources. Environmental pollution is very prominent in point source areas such as mining, foundries, and smelters, and other metal-based industrial operations. Although heavy metals are naturally occurring elements that are found throughout the Earth's crust, most environmental contamination and human exposure result from anthropogenic activities such as mining and smelting operations. Industrial production and use in domestic and agriculture use of metals and metal containing compounds. Environmental contamination can also occur through metal corrosion, atmospheric dip Depo depo deposition, which means the spraying, I'm guessing, soil erosion of metal ions, and leaching of heavy metals, sediment resuspension and metal evaporation from water resources to soil and ground water, natural phenomenon, phenomenon such as weathering and volcanic eruptions have also been reported to significantly contribute to heavy metal pollutions. Hang on. You, you can get up, Elena. Sorry about that. Industrial sources include metal processing and refineries, coal burning and power plants, petroleum combustion, nuclear power stations and high-tension lines, plastics, textiles, microelectronics, wood preserve... Prever, <laughs> sorry, I'm so not good at those words. Preservation. In just a minute and paper processing plants. Hmm. It has been reported that metals such as cobalt, copper, chromium, chromium, iron, magnesium, manganese, molybdenum, nickel, selenium, and zinc are essential nutrition that are required for various biochemical and physiological functions. Inadequate supply of these micronutrients result in a variety of deficient diseases or syndromes. 
Will you please be quiet, bud? <laughs> Heavy metals are also considered as trace elements because of their <laughs> presence in trace concentrations in various environmental matrices. Their bioavailability is influenced by physical factors such as temperature, phase association, absorption, sequestration. It is also affected by chemical factors that influence speci speciation at thermodynamic equilibrium, complexation, kinetics, liquid solubility, and octanal slash water partition coefficients. Biological factors such as species, characteristics, trophic interactions, and biochemical slash philosophical adaption also play an important role. And then it keeps going. The essential heavy metals expert, biochemical, and... So if you want to read all that, I suppose you can. I mean, it comes down here to, like, property of copper, copper that makes it potentially toxic because the transitions between Cu1 and Cu2 and Cu1 can result in the generation of superoxide and hydroxyl rad radicals. Extensive exposure to copper has been leaked to cellular damage leading to Wilson disease in humans. Similar to copper, several other essential elements are required for biological functioning. However, an excessive amount of each metal produces cellular and tissue damage, leading to a variety of adverse effects and human diseases, for some including chromium and copper. There is a very narrow range of concentrations between beneficial and toxic effects. Other metals such as aluminum, antimonium, arsenic, barium, berylium, bismuth, cadmium, gallium, germanium, gold, indium, Lead, lithium, mercury, nickel, platonium, silver, strontium, tellurium, thallium, sorry, I'm not good at pronouncing these guys, tin, titanium, vanadium, uranium, have no established biological functions and are considered as non-essential metals. Hmm. So a lot of those they're spraying us with, too. Heavy metals are reported to affect cellular organelles and components, such as membranes, lysomes, all these enzymes involved in the metabolism, detoxification. From our laboratory. All right. Toxicity and carcinogenicity of metals, such as arsenic. The cadmium, the chromium, lead, mercury, because of their high degree of toxicity, these five elements rank among the priority metals that are of great public health significance. All right, great public health significance. All right, so now I printed out these two things here. All right, hold on just one minute, okay? A scientific review of the role of chromium in insulin. So chromium, if you want to read this, it is... Please stop shaking the bed. It is inside insulin for people with diabetes. That is, it's, it's, it's one of the, what, yeah, a very, very heavy metal. And that's what most people are getting these type 2 diabetes so they can take this insulin. And then we also have cadmium, okay? which is also up there, cadmium, one of the five. Yeah, the high degree of toxicity. It's a heavy metal of considerable toxicity with destructive impact on most organ systems. It's widely distributed in humans, the chief source of contamination being cigarette smoke, welding, and contaminated food and beverages. Toxic impacts are discussed and appear to be prior proportional to body burden of cadmium. Detoxification of cadmium with EDTA and other chelators is possible and has been shown to be therapeutically beneficial in humans and animals when done using established protocols. So, yeah, there's a lot of bad things that, I mean, these heavy metals are not good for us, and they're spraying us with them. They're putting them in everything. I mean, this is, talks about, I don't know if you guys want to finish reading it.
I don't know, you can always find it too. I mean, it talks about everything. There's a lot of information here. If you want, I can go through and I can read more. Just let me know in the... Because, I mean, I got about the communion right here. I got... There's more about the communion. Condemnium. Chromonium. There's more of that. Air. It through, goes through your air, water, and soil. This chromonium. There's so much here, too. Exposure to the lead. I mean, mercury. That's what's in our vaccinations. It's so bad for us. So, I just wanted to just share that with you guys. I hope you guys find it useful. I did. I found it very useful. Alright. Have a great day, everybody.